<laughs> wow. Yes. Yes. Hi and welcome to our channel. We are lucky enough to still have Yana and Ollie here with us helping us out on our farm and we have done a real lot. It's been a busy, busy week. Jana has found a real love for the goats, obviously. Who wouldn't love these three amazing animals? But she has been offering to take them out on the evening walk, which has been really helpful because I can catch up with a lot of things. The first time she tried to take them out without me didn't really go as planned. They kind of walked the wrong way for her and because she is way too polite, she was asking them nicely, excuse me goats, can you come this way? And they weren't obeying her. So that first day I went out with her, but then it got better and better and better. And she's been, well, I'm so proud. She's proud of herself for managing to take them out, but I'm very proud of her and the goats as well, because they're going out with someone they've only known for a short while and they're staying with her and they are behaving. Diana's taking the goats out today, hopefully. Unless they run back if they hear Sarah's voice. <laughs> Diana's <laughs> first day on with the goat solo. Come on, let's Go on, guys. How cute. <laughs> Come on, then, guys. Come on. Come on. Yeah, good girl, Daisy. <laughs> They listen to you more than they listen to me. <laughs> really? It's a progress. We're making progress. <laughs> wow, the sky looks awesome, eh? Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, Jana did it. I did it. Honestly, <laughs> 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 Awesome, oh, thank you. Well, let me edit it to start, start off. We needed to like push them so they come. And then afterwards, I. Uh, I did like kind of was like with the treat come on I didn't give it to them until they came through with me a little bit awesome. further and it worked didn't it beautiful it did it did it did and they only had one so they, I didn't give them anymore wow you clever so. guys you clever yeah. guys I'm just so happy she managed to do it. She's saving me a lot of time, although I do miss them. So at the end of the day, when she's putting them away, I will go and tell them good night. But it's working out really well. Jana has started on the garden. So the first thing that has to be done is the weeding. The weeding takes a lot of time and she's been pulling them out slowly, but she's also found a treasure underneath some of the straw. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. So this one's a little frozen, but look at this baby. I'll cover it up to keep it nice and safe still. Look, here it is. I know, lovely color. This one is a fat one. It's a nice one, isn't it? I think you're going to find a few more eh, today. Yeah, I think so, definitely. It's honestly, it is like a treasure hunt. It's amazing. Look at this, baby! <laughs> wow. wow! Oh my God! Oh, it's the biggest one. one. Yeah. Oh, two. Wow. <laughs> wow, this one is a proper one. Look at this. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. One and a half. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> one and a baby. I think because it's still cold, the tops are going yes. weird. Mm -hmm. So normally they look green anyway. Oh, look! No. <laughs> I think this row, <laughs> this row is doing better, maybe. It is. And there's another one there. Where? There. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so Jana found one, two, three, and now she found a lot more. Yes, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice to see her as excited as I was when I found the first one. As soon as she finishes doing the weeding of that, the asparagus garden, we're going to plant some tomato seeds. So I'm super excited about that. And right now she's just covering the asparagus plant again because at night it sometimes still has a frost and we want to protect those babies. Now I do want to mention something else that I'm really really happy with. The way we protected our fruit trees this year was very different. We didn't cover them with that insulating material but we did insulate the trunk of the tree and put a water bottle next to it half full with water. This was suggested by our 87 year old neighbor, 80 something year old neighbor anyway and it really worked well. I don't know if it's because the trees were a year older but last year they suffered 
even with the stuff around it. And this year they're doing really well. So I'm really happy with that awesome tip. Luke and Ollie have been up to quite a bit this week. They've been super, super busy. I can't even fit everything into this one episode, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what's been going on. And now, it, well, it's over to Luke and he will explain. Over to Luke and Ollie. It's a chilly, chilly morning. And this morning I thought we'd start the process of uh, turning this Spanish broom into Sparto, which is the text that the fiber you can make out of it process of making Sparto, there's a lot of ways to do it. Traditionally it's been made in very different ways. You can soak it in salt water to, to break it down and release the fibers. You can put an alkaline which helps so you could use ash. We're going to use a process similar to making fibers from flax. So the first thing you need to do is harvest it, which is done. And the second one is retting. So retting is basically water retting, is putting them in water for a couple of weeks, just so they break down and you can release the fibers. And then we'll go on to the next, uh, the next step of the process. So today we're just gonna make a couple of bunches that we can carry, one each. And we're gonna go down to the river, tie some stones to them and chuck them in the river and leave them there for a couple of weeks and then we'll go carry on with the next part of the process. We don't have to do it all, we're just testing this out to see how labor intensive this process actually is. I want to tie a rope to them so we don't have to jump in to get yeah. them in two weeks because it's bloody freezing. Right. Ready for the first bunch? Ready for the first bunch. Right, I don't know how big you want to go, but we'll just go. I don't know how much you think you can carry, you know? I mean, we'll just make them a bit neater. So it's nice and neat. Do you want to get the strugglers? Yep. There you go. Can we borrow your amazing bolo now? Of course you can, sir. Oh, you. The little one. The little one. Oh, right. It's a bit awkward. Hard on the shoulder. Is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. It'll be pretty cool to make this stuff out of itself yeah. to tie them up with, eh? You're knitting jumpers next, aren't you? <laughs> knitting jumpers with... Little Sparto panties! With... <laughs> <laughs> with our logo on. With logo. <laughs> We're winging it. That'd be a good one, aren't you? Winging it as usual. Winging it is a good one, yeah. <laughs> good boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you smell. What have you been rolling on? Hello. <laughs> a bit more, maybe, does it look like? What's Molly chasing? Go and see what Molly's chasing. Yeah, this is your one, so we can load it right up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's our stick. You. <laughs> Sorry, that's no, sticks. I love sticks. Yeah, that's I'll take that one. Yeah. one. Is it? Mine's thicker than yours. <laughs> and longer. <laughs> Mine's longer. To infinity. And beyond. and beyond. So another thing we're gonna do once we're going down to the river is we've got all these raspberries. We had started out just with two canes about four years ago, because it was yeah. one of the first things we did. And now it's just been insane. We've got hundreds of them. The, the soil is still pretty frozen. So for now, we're just going to go down with the ones which Sarah pulled out last year. We have plenty, believe me. Which we had put into <laughs> homemade pots. And I, I think we've got about 30 of them right here. We gave away a bunch last year and these are the remaining ones. Um, and I thought we'd plant them on some of the banks of the river where it's eroding away because they do create a vast root system. So hopefully that will hold in parts of the bank. So it's one small thing we can do to try and restore our river yeah. bank. Well, we're not taking them down like this. This would be insane no. and silly. There's a lot of soil yeah. and every single one that I've planted had a new one growing last year. So this one's now dead. We cut the dead one off and the other ones I can already see signs of budding so we're just about in time yeah hopefully. so what I'm doing is rolling it and then getting out the roots 
And we're taking just this down. Yeah, <laughs> so hopefully by planting them, like I said, it will strengthen the bank, also attract wildlife, and when we go down to the river, we'll be able to have a nice little snack. Yeah. They do fruit twice a year, these. So that's sweet, and they really are tasty, eh? Not like the ones you get in store, they taste of water, yeah. the ones we bought last year. Homegrown is best. Homegrown, yo! <laughs> Right, let's load up the mules. Watch it, guys. How come you made them so big? Because we're man. Okay. Manly. You're manly men. Okay, Luke's not looking too manly right now. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go then. Let's go. Disappear, he said. Well, I can turn my back on this life. It's all I know. No, I'll never survive you. Just carry on your way. I'll meet you up some other day. And he said, Just be me down on the left bank station. <laughs> Don't be there. Hey! So we're going to leave those in there for two weeks and then we'll take them out and the next process will be scutching, which is basically breaking them up so the fibres can be released into individual fibres um, and then after that we dry them, after that we spin them and after that we weave them into nice little panties. <laughs> <laughs> That's their panties. <laughs> <laughs> nice little sparto thong. Nice little thong. <laughs> Mankinis, I'll go for you. Mankinis. You'll see in the weeks to come, guys, hopefully, anyway. Awesome. And if we think it's worth the effort, I mean, to try it, it's really fun. 
but then we'll see if it's worth the effort and if it is we'll do this on a continuous basis. Alrighty, so we're here where I think that we need to strengthen the bank a bit. This has been slowly eroding, especially when the river comes in the winter when it rains a lot and it's much higher. So my plan is for this bank down here, which has been slowly eroding, I plan to plant a bunch of native grasses and reeds. Why are they spooked, the goats? Muddy, probably so. <laughs> um, so we're going to leave that for now, but on the higher one over here, this is where we're going to plant a bunch of raspberries. they nice. Molly has some dig. She's very good at digging. To be good. No, no, oh, okay. Yeah, Molly, help me. Go ahead, that way. One help. Go ahead, Molly. Molly, help Molly. He needs digging. Come on, come on. Here, there. Molly needs digging. I think that went really well. Hopefully the boar does not dig them up because we can't keep an eye on them down there and there's otters down by the river and there's a bunch of other animals so we'll see how it goes. This is a trial but all that footage wouldn't have been possible without Dirk. Again I will mention him again this week because thank you so much for the mounting and the Osmo action cam because we had all our hands full while going down to the river and the action cam was attached to my head. As silly as it looked it was amazing. I could just walk, look around and film everything. I can't tell you just how much easier this has made my life. I would like to take this time to welcome Sharon to our Patreon family. Thank you so much for choosing us to support. If any of you are interested in supporting us in any way, there's a few ways you can do it in the description. And any support we get is much needed and much appreciated. So thank you so much if you choose to do so. I would also like to thank Mark for your very generous crypto that we found in our wallet. Thank you so, so much. Before we go, I want to thank Andre, AKA Blue Bean, for sending me some amazing duck breast biltong, which we absolutely smashed. I did give yes. very little to these two guys. <laughs> <laughs> delicious. It was delicious. It was really, really good. So and Sarah messaged him, whoops, Molly, you're falling. <sighs> Sarah messaged him for the recipe because I'd love to try it <laughs> and yeah he sent us all the information so hopefully one day I'll do it. So thanks again Andre, it was delicious. This Friday at 4.15 we have a special episode and it's going to be an interview with Ollie and Yara. Yep, I'm going to dress as Larry King. <laughs> <laughs> dress up as Larry King. It's going to be basically their experiences of looking for property or looking for land in Portugal in 2022. Yeah, I think they yeah. can give quite a few tips because our video on buying property is four years ago now yeah. and things have changed. I Absolutely. mean, you were telling me the prices and yeah, prices and lo loads of things have changed uh, from what I 
from what we gather. So if you've got any questions or anything extra you want us to answer in the video next week, give us a comment below on this video. Yeah, thank and you. And join us for the live. They're going to join us for the live too. So if you have any questions while you're watching, you can, you can ask, ask them, them too. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty, so that's it from us. Have a nice weekend and we'll see you on Friday, I guess. Or they will. Ta-da! I don't know if I'm going to be in it. <laughs> I'm going to be milling. You're going to be Larry King live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ciao, guys. If you enjoy our content and want to keep watching, why not watch this one or this one? And if you really love us and have seen it all, then why not head off to Sarah's Happy Place, which is my personal channel, or Luke's off gridding on a shoestring, where we started putting his projects.